What's going on, Blurge, Nerds, and everybody in between? It's the Sensei of the Syndicate, Double One Wyatt here with you. We are talking about today Spider Man, the trailer that came out. Um, so, of course, we got my main man, Marcus. How many times have you watched this trailer, man? I've seen this trailer. At least, I'll say it. I probably lost count. I know at least five. At least five. Man. Yeah, just, just all real. Yeah, and that was the first day. Like, I've watched it some more times since then, so. Yeah, I know. I watched it. I was like, but this part, but this part, and then you connected the dots. So, um, exactly trying yeah. so hard. man, it, it's a, it's, it's got quite a few views. Uh, like it, it's definitely been number one for about the the last week that has been out. So, um, I wanted to get some of your thoughts about it. Wanted to to kind of pick your brain and uh, see, how, you know, how much you liked it, um, what you thought of it, and what you think it means for the movie. Just overall, I am the trailer. I was already excited for the movie. Watching that trailer just put it over the top. Like mm-hmm. ah, the seat, you know, I, I like I love what they've done with how they made minor changes to, to the costumes or to like to the villain costumes. Like you you see Electro, he's more Definitely. comic book kind of comic book accurate or whatever. He had he had the Tim's on, so he ready for war. <laughs> <laughs> um but I'm I'm looking forward to see everyone, and I know I, I, it was a scene that scene that uh, well they showed it well with Doctor Strange like I can't stop him from merging or coming in or whatever, mm-hmm. and I'm just like I, I just can't wait to see I, I can't wait to see what's going on right then and like what exactly is coming in like is it I don't think it's uh, I think it's I think the other Spider Man already there I think that's I think what he what he means by that I think he means like the other multi uh, the, well, the, the other multiverses are mer- like they're merging in or merging mm-hmm. into one or something i'm like there's so so much conspiracy and speculation along that goes along with that but i am super excited for this movie do you think it has anything to do with loki and the merging timelines as well Ooh, that's a good question i i, I have not thought about that mm-hmm. um i think it might I think it might. I think they're gonna. I think they may work it in us some kind of way. Mm-hmm. Um, may we may get it. May be something they pull in at an end credit scene or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not. Have you you seen Venom? Have you seen Venom? Let it be yes. Sonic? Yes. Okay. So I, you know, I don't know. If, I'm for everybody. I don't know. If we could put a spoiler warning out there. But listen, it's, it's been end. it's been passed like a month and a half, and it's almost for the video on demand. <laughs> if you ain't seen it yet, then that, that's all right. You go ahead and say what you gotta say. But I'm wait. I'm waiting for Venom to show up. I just want him to say. I just want him to pop up and and say this. Just, just say something. I'm, I'm. I'm. I hope he shows up. I can't. I, I'm pretty sure he's gonna show up in the movie. I just want to know when he's gonna show up, or how he's gonna show up, and, and whose side he's gonna be on. Uh, what yeah. have you? So, do you think this is Tom Holland's last Spider-Man appearance? Um, I know. I saw a quote. He said. If he's still doing Spider-Man, he's thirty plus years old. He didn't do something right or something like that. He said. So, I don't think this is this is his, his last. Mm-hmm. I think we may have him for. I'm not sure if we'll get another movie. We may get one more movie with him, but I, 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 as far as him being in the MCU appearances, we, I think we still got him for at least another, eh, maybe two, maybe three more years. I know he's trying to do other stuff. I saw. I know he's going to be uh, playing Nathan Drake in Uncharted films. Hope but, that um... does bad. Uh, uh, <laughs> but but I, but I also say this though. So like I think that's a money ploy because I think you know he did hang out with Robert Downey Jr. and Robert Downey Jr. got paid uh, what was it like twenty million dollars mm-hmm. uh, for for like ten minutes worth of uh, of you know in in the first Spider Man movie. So. Um, so I think, I think it's a ploy. I think, honestly, if he's still 30 and playing Spider-Man, he's actually done something very well because I now, agree. because now you're, you're still growing with the character and, I agree. and they haven't, uh, they haven't rebooted you. Nobody's tired of you in that sense. So like, I think a part, like, that's one thing I think about Spider-Man. Spider-Man has grown 
because like he's gone from being a teenager, you know what I mean? A person in college um, and, and then actually having to be in the real world. So um, yeah. I think that is really, really good um, because it's not like, okay, my biggest gripe when I talk about Batman is that he doesn't age. They still keep him in that, that same like 20 to 30 year old range. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? And like mid twenties, early thirties, except for like, uh, you know, Justice League and the Batman vs Superman where he was a little bit older. Like, yeah. I'd like to see your characters grow with, with you, you know what I mean? So then it's not just, you know what I mean? Like, I, of course, of course I don't want to see him when, you know, Tom Holland has gray hairs and stuff like that. And he's got like four kids. Like, I don't, I don't really care about that part of it, but I just yeah. wanted to be able to see something better than uh, than him being a teenager. Because with I'm, that point, he can be able to grow more as an actor, too. I agree. I, I totally agree with what you're saying. I, I would love to see him grow in the role as, you know, like you said, he go from high school to to college to, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe you know, get a, get a movie when he's an adult. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say this with, I think, Hopefully, this opens the door to bring in, bring in my, my guy Miles Morales. Yeah. Hopefully, this opens the door to bring him in. Maybe even some of the other, um, maybe even some of the other uh, obscure or other Spider-Man characters. Like, uh, you know, you may get maybe the pool and get like uh, Scarlet Spider, Scarlet Spider, or even some of the women like Spider Woman or Silk or. Um, especially we get you know messing with the multiverse, it could be, hey, they may even maybe even throw in Spider Ham and just just, <laughs> mm -hmm. just you know maybe just just some of the other Spider characters uh, would be dope. But um, I, like I said, I, I I want him to grow. I I like him as he's not my favorite. My favorite Spider Man is still Andrew Gar Andrew Garfield, just for the simple fact of. Right, I knew yeah, I knew we were good. I knew we were good. <laughs> Because Tobey Maguire, okay, Tom Holland is too, like, I think they they focus too much on, like, little, like, oh, references to the 90s and 80s and how young he is. Like, like I thought, I, I, I liked Andrew Garfield. But go, go ahead and continue. Yeah, but, but hey, this from, this, like I said, I, I just want to see him grow with the character. Come in, do some, um, you know, maybe, like, give us a, Give us maybe a few more movies, uh, appear in the Emmy, uh, MCU movies or whatever the next Avengers, if they do another Avengers film, mm -hmm. um, maybe even leave the Avengers. You know, it, it's possible, you know, with uh, with everybody with uh, everybody being gone. So, especially when he gets older, he can definitely, like when he's in his college or uh, mid twenties or whatever, like you can let him, let him be the, the leader of the Avengers. Like it, I can see that, that, that would be dope. So uh, speaking of uh, multiple Spider-Men, um, they, they weren't in the trailer. Uh, do you still believe that they are, are going to be in the movie? Oh, most definitely. That, that, I, I think we don't see it in the trailer, but that scene where he's, like, he's jumping off and mm -hmm. it's the lizard, Sandman, and Electro like coming the other way, mm -hmm. like I think, uh, Toby and Andrew are behind him somewhere, like in the, they're in the scene. You think scene you think it's a you you think it's like the callback to the uh, you know face off type thing where they they run off and stuff. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. They said in uh, one, it's been it's been deleted now, but it's already out there where like the lizard gets punched and and nobody know and like it's like they were. They took a wrong part of the edit, you know what I mean? Like they yeah. didn't edit where they just were running at each other. So I definitely think that either that or John Cena was was there because we couldn't see him. That's my dad joke <laughs> of the night. That's my dad joke <laughs> of the night. I'm good. So. I love dad jokes, uh, <laughs> but I I agree. Like I, I like to, I, that's and you like you look at that scene. And it's like they got it. They they they, they it's. I, they're there. They got to be there. They they have to be in that scene with him. So it, I, I'm. I want to know. Um, I know they've been saying some. It's been speculation that. Uh, 
Morlon, Mor- uh, Morlon mm-hmm. uh, is he's gonna be he's gonna be in the movie. It's a lot of speculation behind that. I'm not, you know, of course you don't see him in the trailer, but you know you get the, you know, it's this. I don't know if they're doing. Somebody said they they weren't doing like a Sinister Six, but at the same time with the speculation of Morlon, there may be a type of Sinister Six type of thing because you got Sandman, Litro, Green Goblin, Doctor Ox. And a lizard, so it, it's somebody else. That's oh, what and, I'm saying like, and Michael Keaton it. said that he was uh, even though he wasn't in this one in the trailer, he said that he's in the movie because Michael Keaton doesn't oh. care. He, Michael Keaton said he got Batman money hey. covered, so he don't he don't really care. Hey. He, <laughs> he, he does not care. I, I won't. I'm. I'm. I'm I still want. I know this is this is a Marvel episode, but I still want to throw my hat, throw his hat in the ring for him. Don't do a Batman Beyond movie and let him be but old we, man. But we're not gonna do this no more because we we will talk hey. about this. We will have a whole episode <laughs> on Batman Beyond. Um, so, but yes, I I, I fully agree with you. Uh, I think yeah. that would be fantastic. But we're not gonna get, we're not gonna get on that tangent yeah, tonight. We, we, we gonna, we'll be, we'll we'll be here all damn night talk about how Batman <laughs> and what we want from him. Um, so. Yeah. Oh, and then it. Oh, never mind. Cause I, I, um, I just went to to cast it and everything. No, uh, uh-uh. uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I tried to derail. It's my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um. So, talked about that. Um. So, all right. I want to throw, want to throw my, my, uh, my theory of what I think is gonna happen. So, cause they they had the part where MJ was being saved by uh by Spider Man, but. I don't think I don't think MJ dies. I think Ned does. Because Ned you saw Ned fall too. And so so then like and then he you know how he was he was talking and he kind of did that, you know, voiceover about how his life was so great, you know, that 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 yeah. one week that she knew that he was Spider-Man. And then, like, and how it was so great, and this, this, and this. But the whole time, Ned knew he had your back. You know what I'm saying? So then you yeah. took him for granted, and now he's gone. Ooh, that'll be ah, uh, and 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 along with pretty much Spider-Man movies, somebody, somebody got to die. Somebody got to get it. Somebody got to not make it to the next. Got to go. <laughs> <laughs> somebody get somebody not making a sequel. So uh so yeah, that's that's what I think, man. Oh man, that'll be cool. I mean that's not cool, that'll be like that'll be because you know, in Ned the and it, it, when they initially started with Spider-Man, you know, Ned was the name Ned was like the name of the um the hobgoblin. Mm-hmm. Like or whatever. And like everybody saw the guy who was playing Ned, like he's an Asian kid, and they were thinking he was a uh, like Miles Morales' best friends, um, uh, Genki or yeah, uh, how do you pronounce his name? I, I don't know. Like, I, I was gonna let you butcher it. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah. But in him, and it's like, like so it, it's gonna be interesting to see. I, I, I that would be like if somebody does, you know, normally somebody does go. So maybe it might be Ned, man. It might be Ned. Oh, and then that's that's the way Toby McGuire is going to relate to him because he lost Harry. Ooh, that'll be. Oh, see, now you got me playing some mm-hmm. stuff in my head. See, see. Ah, oh, um, I will say this. I long as it ain't Aunt May. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's long too young for Aunt May. He not not this time. He's too young. But I. So here's the thing. I I love the fact that they're. I kind of I know it's kind of loosely adapted off of like the civil war part that went into a, a new day i think it was the, the the series of the comic books where um essentially and, and i think it was like back in black so so it was like where you know he unmasked himself for during civil war so then after the unmasking that's where aunt may got shot by a uh what's the face he got shot by an assassin and then found out that it was Kingpin that was behind it. He went to prison and bitch slapped Kingpin, put his web shooter in his mouth and said, as soon as Aunt May dies, you're going to die. He said that I'm going to shoot my webbing down your throat. So then after that, they you can't breathe and you suffocate. 
and then he said that um he took off his mask and he said now i want everybody in here to see who i am and see that this ain't no game that spider-man's not doing this peter parker is so um if you have if you haven't read that uh i definitely recommend it and i may put up some screenshots right here just to show you guys uh kind of what happened but uh yeah and then um what happened was then spider-man and or peter parker and mary jane they were married at the time made a deal with mephisto that they would like if they would go ahead if mephisto would go ahead and actually erase everyone's memory of him being spider-man um that that uh they would break up and they and they would go back in time and they wouldn't remember that they they were married um, and so the ergo, they wouldn't have the children that they would have. So that's what started um, that series. So they, they put a lot of different storylines together. So if you haven't read that, and you want some background information on kind of where where everything comes from, I definitely would recommend you check that out. I'm gonna have to go check that out myself. I've heard I've heard of it. I I haven't read it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna have to go and see if I can uh, find it on uh, go. Go look online so once I can find it and check that out. That sounds dope. Like I said, I've heard of it, just haven't read it. Bro, the the fact where he he breaks into the prison, he takes off his mask. He's like, you know, this is this is he gives a speech about how this mask had meant so much and there was honor and, and you know it there was so much like imagery that went with the the suit. And so he took yeah. it off and he was like, ain't, ain't no, ain't nothing nice about to happen here. So he takes it off. And uh, so he tries to let, he tries to let uh, Kingpin get in a couple shots and lets him know that his shots are ineffective. And then after that, he, he literally backhand bitch slaps the Kingpin a couple times, like holds him up. Kingpin has, Kingpin's in jail. He ain't got no shirt on. And he just, mm, mm, mm. So, like, <laughs> and then so he beat his ass so bad that like Kingpin had to crawl back to his cell and just lay down on the cot. Man, but no, see that, that's how you know you you know. And they, I've heard that like Spider or you know Peter Parker and Spider Man and them, like he's so strong. He don't like when he hits people. He had, he holds back. Like mm -hmm. he keep holding back. Not, uh, like most times he's fighting fight. He's holding back from how um from plant, um from how hard he's planting. Mm -hmm. So that that should let you know, like this man, man strong. This this ain't that's why they, that's why a lot of people consider Spider Man to be like just the I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna say the greatest, but like just if not the greatest, one of the greatest superheroes. Just for the yeah. simple fact of his story and the stuff he does. So. Yeah, um, I think. I think there's a lot of growth that they can be able to do because the Spider-Man story, they different take definitely take place over different age groups. So like the fact that we've gotten three stories of Spider-Man just in high school, they haven't even gotten to the part where, you know, you get him in college and the college parts are the ties where, you know what I mean? He's getting kicked out of his apartment. He's having trouble keeping yeah. jobs down, you know, all this other stuff. And and I think that would be a great story to tell. And then when he gets out into the workforce, the fact that he has all this knowledge, but he can't really use it, and he has to kind of find different ways. We ain't even gone to the Daily Bugle yet. Exactly. It's so like I say, it is. That's why I say I. I hope maybe like I say maybe it's just the money for it, but I hope that's what it is because mm -hmm. it is so like Tom Holland is young enough for him to for him to be Spider Man for like for at least. At least the next ten, maybe, maybe even fifteen years. Like he could, he's young enough to play that role, to where you, we can see him grow and see Spider Man grow. Like I said, from high school to college to to the adult years, stuff like that. Like it, it would be awesome to see it. I got, and I don't understand why they don't do stuff like that more. Like you, like in the Harry, like just for example, like Harry Potter. You saw them kids grow from each year or each movie or whatever mm -hmm. they were in. Like, do that. You got to get your character, get your get your actors young enough to where they can they can grow with the character, especially someone like Spider Man. Like, easy. It's so many. It's so much material out there on Spider Man that you can 
tell different stories and different like he had so many villains so many stories so many stories that you can tell like I, you know from the movie you know he's not there. i don't see him in the trailer i haven't heard him but like one of my favorite villains for spider-man is craven the hunter like mm-hmm. uh craven the hunter story was like that would be i think they're saving that one for oh, black yeah. panther yeah oh. but uh i i thought i thought that would be great um i just man i i really enjoyed the trailer um i thought i had a lot of things i think doc ock is going to be an ally um and and so that and then a lot of people are also saying that this doc ock because they had he had red in his uh in his arms that he may have some tarp some stark tech in his in his arm like in his uh arms from the yeah. octopus arms so i think that would be a nice tie-in but um sometimes i was just uh talking to my girl about this like she was saying like sometimes things are too connected you know what i mean sometimes somebody can just develop something and not have it be connected to stark or not have it be connected to osborne or or things like that so i I think sometimes that can be good too so yeah i I noticed in that they were saying because if this if you look at one point in the in the trailer Mm-hmm. It's like he has those. He has regular, mm-hmm. and I, and I was watching a video on YouTube. A guy on YouTube, he was saying, he was speculating where he think it's changing because the because the the multiverse is emerging or whatever. So their costumes or the villains, their gear, like stuff is changing. So because you know, if you notice the first part of the video, he has like his regular. Like the regular tentacles. Then, like you, you, you know, that next when the next scene you see him, he has they got the red in them or they've changed. So it's like maybe either you know, like said, maybe some Star Trek or maybe the, maybe the fact that it's changing because of stuff is happening around it with the multiverse. Mm-hmm. So I'm I, I'm just excited to see it. Right, well, man, we we got a little less than a, about a month, a little less than that before that yeah. comes out. And um, so, since you're here, we're going to go ahead and announce it. We're going to have a Spider-Man movie giveaway. We're going to give hey. away two tickets, or two sets of tickets, uh, so that you can be able to go out and watch Spider-Man. Um, the only thing that will, details are soon to come, so that we can be able to uh, to do that. And um and find out what we, we're going to talk about. We're going to maybe say, who's your favorite Spider-Man, you know, who's your favorite, you know, character in Spider-Man, something like that. We'll find something out. So, um, but yeah, we, uh, we doing big things going from 2021 to 2022, uh, shop, the blur syndicate shop will be up early 2022. So, uh, we're going to have shirts, uh, coffee mugs, uh, face masks, if you because everybody still needs to be safe, uh, and and whatever else. So, uh, just stay tuned. Uh, so, Marcus, uh, what what else you got for me? What 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 are your final thoughts, my brother? Um, final thoughts overall. I'm excited for the movie. I, I'm me personally, I am really loving what Marvel is doing right now. Um, the stuff that Marvel has coming out, like I said, you got. I enjoyed uh, Shang Chi was awesome. Mm-hmm. Eternals was awesome. I haven't seen it. Uh, Hawkeye, Hawkeye, oh, Hawkeye is coming up here in a way in a few weeks. No, like uh, like to, like Wednesday. Okay, but Wednesday. So <laughs> yeah, like Wednesday. Hawkeye, we got Hawkeye. We got like I said, right after that, then Spider Man is coming. So then, like I said, you got the other stuffs coming out with next year. You got She Hulk, Miss Marvel. I really am excited for this next lineup of what Marvel has coming up, man. Um, and like I said, next year we got the movies, Multiverse of Madness. Uh, Multiverse of Madness, Rock the Strange. I'm, oh, that's going to be awesome. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I'm just really excited what, what Marvel is doing and what they're building. All right. Well, um, I, I'm, I hope they're doing a good job of building. Um, I, I know that they had a strong, you know, four phases. And so I'm, I'm, I I want to make sure that they keep that up, you know, and, and learn how to develop other characters. And um, I, I think that uh, there's a lot of good things that are showing up in uh, 
and Spider-Man and hopefully in, in Marvel as well. So um, to close out, we're going to go ahead and say we want you to be like the Hulk, smash that follow button, and we're going to love you 3000. So until next time, uh, y'all be safe, and we'll talk to you later. All right. Hey, peace.